All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be checking out how to enable ray tracing inside of Minecraft. So for those of you who are new to ray tracing, you need a ray tracing compatible graphics card, and you also need to have Windows 10 or Windows Bedrock Edition version of Minecraft in order to get this to work. If you're not sure if your graphics card has ray tracing enabled, go ahead and just look up the list of graphics cards that support ray tracing online. Uh, it's usually the 20 series of NVIDIA graphics cards for like 2060 and up for NVIDIA, and I'm not certain on the AMD series. Once you've got that sorted out and you know you've got ray tracing built into your computer somewhere, go ahead and boot up Minecraft Windows 10 edition, and we're gonna visit the marketplace. Now by default, it's not really installed on your Minecraft. You have to look up RTX, and then inside of RTX, you'll be able to find a bunch of different packs that have RTX built into them, and you can download these for free. They're created by NVIDIA and a bunch of other uh, companies that want to show off what RTX can do. So just pick one of these that looks kind of interesting, like this aquatic adventure looks like fun. And because it's free, you can just click on it and it'll buy it for you. It, you don't actually have to buy it because it's free, obviously, but that's just how their marketplace works. Once it's downloaded, you can create this world for yourself. And I'll just hit select create because I don't have a realms server to stick it on. And then once you're loaded in here, it should have the RTX turned on by default for you to check out, but you can find out if it's enabled by going to settings, going down to video, and then at the bottom of this list of settings, you'll find ray tracing down here at the bottom, and you can even change how far away the ray tracing renders up to 24 chunks away, I've got mine set to 12 chunks just to see what it looks like. I'm gonna hit escape to go back and I'm going to resume game. And so far, it's hard to tell, because I mean, the thing with ray tracing is, when you look at it side to side, you can definitely tell, oh yeah, that's ray tracing. But when it's first on to begin with, you're like, I don't know about this man. So this is what this world looks like without ray tracing. It's all very flat. I guess it's supposed to be Atlantis. And if I turn back on ray tracing under video, it should add that cool rendering effect of like the volumetric lighting. I can see the reflections of the world around me looking up. And there is a certain amount of global illumination to be had. So let me just go ahead and start swimming over to the realm of Atlantis. And we will take a look around. So there you go, now you can kind of see, I've got the cool reflections on the surface of the water, and I'm seeing a lot of coral glow effects on some of the different blocks that I didn't have access to before. And the whole idea is it's live interactive reflections that change the way a lot of different blocks behave, especially water and things like glass that are supposed to be kind of reflective all on their own. Yeah, so this looks kind of cool. I like the notion of having really dynamic reflections and volumetric lighting, and it's not so outrageous as it is in things like Minecraft shader packs, although you can put shaders that you would expect from Minecraft Java into Windows 10 Minecraft if you want as well. Oh, and I've fallen into somewhere. Somewhere sinister. So yeah, that's a pretty basic way to turn on Minecraft RTX 
shaders and all of that stuff and explore these cool packs that you can get for free. And as you notice, there are a bunch of them that you can go and grab if you go to the marketplace and just type in RTX and hit enter. And here you can see like, uh, ooh, Alien Encounter sounds cool. Let's grab that one and check that one out next. But yeah, so you can download all of these RTX preview packs for free, which is nice considering a good RTX graphics card is kind of on the expensive side. And yeah, that's all you got to do to enable this inside of Minecraft. Next up, I'll be taking a look at how to add some shaders to your Minecraft Windows 10 edition. Until then, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.